Hey everyone, today I'm gonna show you how to build a kayak cart that is actually, you can take it apart, stow it away in your kayak, and we'll be right back to show you how it's done. Well, unfortunately, due to COVID-19 and my dad's 72 years old, I'm not able to go into his garage and do more of the DIY stuff that you come to see. Uh, but today, uh, we're going to be working on doing a um, kayak cart, one that I've come up with a design myself, where you can actually fold it down and put it stored away into your kayak. Everything's going to be done through one inch because you're going to have a half inch pipe with some couplers to go inside. Everything's gonna be done with plastic PVC so there's no uh, chance of rusting. The only thing there is is gonna be these metal little pins right here to put the tires on and take the tires off. A cool part is these awesome wheels that I found and uh, this fits the half inch pipe perfectly. It is one of these little workout, uh, little rolly things that you uh, push back and forth to kind of do kind of stomach crunches. Uh, they were $6 a piece, bought two of them and uh they look really awesome they got a rubber wheel on the outside they're plastic really solid i guess they can hold a human up one i guess two should hold a 70 pound kayak but first what we're going to do is put everything together the tools that you're going to need is a drill pipe cutters or a saw or any kind of saw that you got i got these neat little deals just cuts the pipe really easy uh you're going to need some pipe glue because the way i'm doing this i'm i'm using these little couplers right here that screws in so I can take things apart and stow it away into the kayak. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and get everything um, measuring out. Got to measure the bottom of the kayak. Uh, also the other thing you're going to need some of these noodles. Now I've got these noodles from uh, home, uh, no, Lowe's because they're really thick. They're like five inches wide. So I'm going to use these noodles here. It's going to split across. You'll see how that works. So the first thing I need to do is get the measuring and uh, we'll go from there. So uh, actually I'm under the kayak. I just want to get a close estimate of center where these are going to go because I got a try hole. What I'm going to do is measure to the center of the hole and that will be my measurement for the uh, for everything else. So I've got from center to center is 11 and a half. Okay now that we have our measurements uh, we got the one inch pipe here. I've cut it down. I've actually got 10 foot of it I cut it close enough where I can work with it right now um, So the first one we need to find the two different types of tees this one here uh, is just a slip fit inside with gluing and then I have one that screws inside These are your first ones. that's going and it's just gonna be simply Go right here like this. It's gonna slip fit in and we're gonna glue it So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take some uh, some of the PVC pipe. I have enough cut off here. We got to measure how long it will be to the bottom of this because we're going to put on. But since we have the screw on one here, we're going to put these on. Then it will screw in like this, and all of this is going to come up. The wheel's going to be down here. We're going to get that going. So it's going to be a pretty cool little project. So now I just got to measure the height that I want to be at. Okay, now I just took the measurement, didn't show you that, but based off the measurement from the wheel height that I want to be at, keeping it as compact as possible, it looks like I'm going to need about eight inches from the, from the center of the pipe to the top of the pipe. And that means I'm going to need a pipe length of, let's just call it six inches. Now 
These are gonna go in here. I'm gonna dry fit everything first. It's gonna be a little tight. <clears throat> so, cause I wanna try to see if everything will actually work with what I gotta do. Now I wanna know how much length am I gonna go out back and forth through here to make the actual uh, length for the uh, bars that's gonna go between. So based on my measurements, what I need here, utilizing this, it's a short one, but I'm trying to keep everything compact. I may have to go longer, that's why I'm dry feeding everything. My measurement's gonna be 10 inches on both sides, a little, uh, so it's gonna be a little over 20 inches. So if I do 10 inches four times, should get me there. Okay, so now that I have uh, these four cut, we're gonna dry fit them here. And each one. The reason I'm dry fit them, I wanna make sure it fits down in the hole of my kayak and it'd be able to store away. Once this is glued, it ain't gonna matter much. These will be solid. Okay, so the way that's gonna work is simple. We take this, which I've already split, and we're gonna take it and go right over top, just like this. And remember, these are the heavy duty, heavy duty ones. And it's gonna go over just like that and now I've got enough room where I can run some straps around here and hold that tight against the kayak and both sides should work and uh, we'll work on it like that let me move the camera back a little bit show you basic the basic design this is what it's gonna look like here okay so I actually took everything off now we're just gonna see if all this works by dry fitting, I'll just take this off because now I got it cut a little bit shorter so that I can actually take the parts off. That one fits down inside there. And then we'll just take this one off. This one down inside there and the axle and close it. So yes, I can make it where it's collapsible down inside here. So now it's time to glue everything together and uh, see how she works. So now that I got some things uh, fitted tight a little bit, I'm gonna go ahead and glue up everything um, and uh, that I got jointed right now. And then I'm gonna show you how the axle works for this. And then we're gonna go from there, okay? Okay, okay, so now we've got the stuff glued together. All these these parts here. Uh, I got, had to flush this out, make sure it stayed flush so everything can just kind of screw in together like this. The axle actually is this half inch pipe right here. Okay, so we're going to, what we do for the axle is we put it through here and the wheels are on each side, but it's awful loose inside here. So we need to put a, another piece of pipe inside here that tightens this up and it creates another bushing. 
Okay, so what I've done is I cut some more of the PVC pipe just a little bit shorter. This one's smaller than the other one. It does not matter. Just as long as it goes in and flushes pretty, pretty close. So we'll just take some more of the uh, cleaner fluid. We'll clean both ends. I've done this before on another one. It seemed to work pretty, pretty good with this bearing style deal using PVC pipe. All right. The trick is, is getting it flush inside there and leaving it. So, uh, pipe goop, get it up close to the edge. And so the how do I get it flush is I just take it, I don't even twist it, put it on the table, and I'll just push down until it flushes just like that. Now it's flush all the way around. And that's what we want okay now we do the same thing here we just take it and we just push it on the table till it flattens and now it's flush all the way around a little bit more there we go now what that's done is created a bearing type deal in here as you can see it's a lot tighter now and that'll help out for when we put the put the uh, wheels on the next step is, is to um, quarter inch bit. We have the, uh, these ring holders here. Okay. So we got to make the bearing and go through here. What we got to do, we're going to make another bushing out here like this and then run it. And that should be pretty good there. So we need to cut this in half and that should be a good bushing enough. Okay. So that should work. So let's cut this piece in half and make it a bushing. Okay, so now we have it right here. This is what it's going to look like. Should be pretty solid. These move a little bit, but you know, once you tighten them up and put a strap on them, they're going to be solid. So uh, we're just going to go ahead and put the these on. Yeah, it's tight, isn't it? Uh, all right. The kayak should just sit on that pretty nice and neat. It don't matter if it moves this way because it's going to be sitting in between the uh, kayak anyway. And to keep it from going back and forth, we're going to put straps on it. So we're about to see how this works in just a second. I got it working. <laughs> 